Hi, I'm Quan Hong with Impinch, and today I'm going to talk about how to install the software and tools um, to allow your PC to communicate to your indie development uh, platform. So, let's typically we would start by connecting our USB cable uh, from the dev kit into the PC, which will start the installation process. But it will look for these drivers that you. Um, you don't have yet, so let's let's go and explore what's available um, and how to install that. First of all, you should have received a CD-ROM that came with a dev kit. Um, I don't know if you can see that here, but it's our latest version is 2.4.2. Make sure you get that, or you can download it straight from our website. I'm going to explore the contents of that CD for now. So when you open it up you'll see these folders, and I'll go over some of them in details. For example, there's documentation, hardware, software, and tools. Um, in the documentation folder, you'll see that this is where we keep all of our documents. Um, they are as up to date as possible. Uh, they include files such as the NDR1000, R2000 reader chip data sheet, all the way down to the firmware software um, level, including the firmware data sheet. If you have any question about how the firmware is behaving, um, that's there as well. That's register definitions, MAC error codes, OEM, and, and so many more. Um, in the hardware folder, uh, that's where we keep all the um, schematics, bombs, and, and layout files, Gerbers, and whatnot. Um, so for your hard hardware guys, that's where you'd go. Uh, there's a software and a tools. So inside the tools folder, we provide two demo GUIs for you to install. Um, I highly recommend at installing at least the Indie tool. Um, I'm not going to do that here because I've already done it, but you would go ahead, uh, open it up, double click the Indie tool v2.4.2.msi file, and uh, go through, follow through the instructions and install that on your PC. Um, what you need now is to go to the software folder. Uh, there's a bunch of folders in there, bootloader firmware, and Mac firmware, support, and drivers, and SDK. Go inside the drivers in SDK, because we're going to get the driver files out of this. Once you're in there, there's open up the Windows folder, and then there's an nd underscore sdk.zip. Copy the zip to your PC and extract it. Now, I've already done that. I'm going to create a shortcut to it here. Inside the nd sdk um, uh, zip file, uh, there's a bin folder, drivers, host, include and lib. Today we're just going to concentrate what's in the drivers folder. That's the file, that's the folder you need to point to later on. Um, so we support two platforms, Windows CE and Windows XP, um, and it's all available there. So we'll go ahead and we'll proceed to the next step, which is to plug in the USB cable. Now, keep in mind that the intention here is to be able to read the contents of this impinge Monza-based tag that's sitting on top of this impinge mini guardrail antenna. Okay, back to the PC. Um, it's found a new hardware, and the wizard is kicked in. Go ahead and click uh, No, say Next. And since we know exactly where to install it from, Let's go ahead and install it from a specific location. And then include the location search. You can click Browse and browse to the location that you extracted your ND SDK folder to. Now, I've done that already, so I kept a copy of it in my folder browse list here. I had an ND SDK 242 under a folder called Drivers and then Windows XP. So that's what I would choose. Say next. Now, if you've ever installed a you know USB driver in the past, it'll give you a selection of new or, or old. Just go ahead and click you know click the top one. Say next. Now it's going to set some system restore point and do all the you know general housekeeping OS stuff to allow you to roll it back if you need to. And now it's looking for USB Harvey.sys file. It's in the same exact location that we just 
extracted those files to. Got SDK 242, um, drivers, Windows XP, and USB Harvey.sys. Open. Say OK. Copy. Finish. All right. So now to verify that's done, you'll see that pops up that found new hardware and it's ready to use. Say OK. You may or may not see this on our system based on your settings. Now load up Indie Tool. Double click on that. First time it may take a little while because it has to search for it. Uh, if there's any question, there's a button at the top called Enumerate. Click that, and it'll search the bus, the USB, and the COM ports. And we found in, in pin serial number 0A. Click Connect to it. We can go into details about Indie Tool in another session, but today we're just going to go straight to Inventory tab. Click on there. Under Inventory, select Single Cycle. Hit Start. And there you should see the outputs of the EPC data found on this um, impinge Monza base tag. Now, while it's sitting there, it read 116 times of this tag in the two seconds I was allowed to operate. And there you go, you're able to read a tag. Well, thank you for watching this video tutorial. Now, for more information about impinge products, please visit www.impinge.com slash support. Thank you.